Hey guys, welcome back to another YouTube video with Tank Reaper today and today we're on Path Times and we are looking at another mod. This time we're looking at a Hobo Ward, that's right. Another Hobo Ward they have in your collection. This is I think called, uh, I, I forgot the name of it already, but dang, uh, this is a chunky boy it is. Very chunky boy. Very big dinosaur. Um, Yeah, we're going to be taking a look at this big beastie. Uh, just basically everything we usually do on these type of videos, uh, looking at the attacks and also the well, skins and stuff and the emotion and emotions. These, whatever you want to call them. Yeah, I know. Uh, pretty exciting and perhaps show it you guys how this thing eats if it's even hungry and thirsty. It doesn't look like I'm really hungry at all. Am I? Oh, well, looks like it might be just a little bit. Just a big, nice big gulp of water. So it wasn't that thirsty. It might be just a little hungry, so let's go up there, see how this giant creature eats. And I tell you what, there, guys, this thing's stamina drains quick. It, as you can see, we are running, as long as we don't run into a tree, uh, it does run down pretty quickly. So if you're trying to get somewhere pretty quickly, you're not really going to get there pretty quickly because the stamina just drains pretty quick and you're just going to take huge rests along the way. So do you keep that reminder? But I do like it. It's a, another nice, decent sized Hobovore. It's nothing like the uh, big giant Seropod that we did a mod review on. Oof, it's been a while now, has it been? But as you can see, you start running, you just lose that stam very, very quickly. But right over here is the berry, so we don't have to go that much more farther and stuff. Uh, get like plenty of branches. We'll, we'll show you that as well. But this standard skin, skin it does look pretty in this dinosaur. Okay. Eh. Not that bad. Oh, wait, wait. I never noticed that before on dinosaurs in this game, but does it actually make your mouth different colors? That's pretty cool. That is pretty freaking cool. I mean, this is a chunky boy, but dang, it, it's pretty slow too. So you're not going to be getting anywhere pretty quickly. If you're wanting something to be quick, then you might as well pick something that's a lot more quicker than this gigantic dinosaur. But there's another one that's the same species, but it's a different... Um, I, how can you say it? It's the same species, but it's a different kind of its species, I guess you could say. Um, yeah, but we'll be doing more of that some other time, not in this video. Uh, today is about this big boy and how gigantic this giant dinosaur is. Um, yeah, I've been having a lot of fun doing these mod reviews for Path Titans and stuff. And even Ark. Huh. I've been doing a good bit for Ark now. But yeah, look how big this gigantic beastie boy is. I do like it though. Like I said, I do like it. And can we get that branch right there? I think I'll show you guys how it collects. Yeah, oh, the tree branches come back. So it looks like it just takes its leg and... What the frick? Okay. We can't get this branch now. There we go. So it takes its leg and pushes it forward. I mean, we expect. It's not much of a big idea, I guess. Let's run over here. I guess we are going to lose some stamina by running. Uh, we don't have much more branches to collect, so yeah. As you can see, it just moves its leg forward. Now we've collected flowers, but I'm not collecting flowers. I'm stuck on a rock. What the frick? <laughs> yeah, you you can get stuck on things pretty quickly. Can ya? Yeah, and also don't go in very, very tight spots with this dinosaur too. I'm hoping I can make it through this. Uh, let's just hope we can. Because if you do go through tight spots, 
you're going to get stuck and this dinosaur is just going to die by i guess fall damage i'm not sure uh by trying to get it to this location um i actually got stuck twice with this dinosaur i think actually yeah with this one i think it was uh i got stuck and died twice so yeah the don't don't get, don't go into tight spots just whatever you do do not do that well let's slide down okay nice slide down animation so we're looking at the stock standard regular there we go uh <laughs> sorry for that guys uh standard cam uh skin for this dinosaur this is the one that you're just going to start out with with this big beastie boy um you get these a little bit of like a well brown in there with the also like a blackish dark very dark brown and also like a light gray color too and look at that it's a uh, neck neck muscles also moves a little bit but this is the standard can uh, skin that you come out with uh, with this giant beast next one hmm, that's not bad it's a completely brown with like a light gray in there as well does it have like a pattern um not really i mean i'm not seeing a really big difference between the patterns of this uh skin but oh how much is it gonna cost it's gonna cost you 4500 marks next one hmm. it looks like it has a little bit of like a black in there well a lot of black along with a um like a light brown or dark brown color throughout its body it's probably like this one as well uh, where it doesn't have much of like re differences again you can tell the difference but it's underneath its neck muscles are just moving yeah this will cost you 7500 marks next one is oh not really so far not too much very really interesting I mean too much but well it looks like there's a light gray with a little bit of like a blackish looking color in there and like a little bit of a light gray underneath its belly but definitely yeah i mean it's suitable holy crap this one will cost you 10,000 marks yeah a little bit expensive on the expensive side that would be mostly the black ones complete black ones and uh white ones then we have this one with a little bit of like a blackish color with like a light tan maybe with also a little bit of like a reddish look towards the front of its head and stuff um this one will cost you 1500 marks i'm gonna see does this one come with a pattern let me check uh, slightly a little bit of a pattern um nothing by much okay i thought i heard footsteps i was like why am i hearing footsteps uh, <laughs> i thought i heard footsteps in the game like there was a dash were walking up to me while i'm sleeping but i'm on singapore so how could there be somebody in my game it's vicious. Da -na 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 -na. <laughs> I was getting on there with the guys. Um, this one is actually pretty pretty. It's actually it looks more like a uh, I'm gonna be near like the ocean, like a well or something like that. Because that's like this blue with a white in it, and also the black as well. And the pattern too. Is there like a different pattern towards it? Mm, there is a little bit. Yeah, yeah, there is. Um, I do like this one. This one's pretty nice. Uh, it will cost you 4,500 marks. Again, I like it because it has that little bit of like a white on there, but the blue just really makes it stick out. Uh, not in like ways that you can see pretty easily. Well, maybe. But I like the blue because it reminds me of a. Uh, Ammos today, I guess, or something. I don't know <laughs> what, even what I'm talking about um, with the blue, but it does look pretty nice, does it? Then we have this, which looks like it's with black and white in there. A little bit of like a brownish looking color. Back here towards its legs and stuff. Huh. Uh, this will cost you 3,000 marks to buy this one. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Oh, now this is a pretty one. It has a lot of stripes on it and a lot of dots on it. Like, a little bit of like a light tan with a little bit of black in there. With also the white body as well. And it looks like some brown on its head as well. Oh, let's see if this one has any patterns. Uh, sort of a little bit more different patterns. Yeah, different. Uh, this will cost you 4,500 marks. The next one, ooh, this looks like it has some black in there. Like a, like a 
reddish looking color, maybe a yellow too and a white in there. Huh. Okay. Again, they're pretty nice looking color. Um I do like it. It's actually pretty nice. That this one really takes my spot, actually. To now one and this one are probably like my two favorites right now. Uh, but this is pretty nice as well. This will cost you 4,500 marks. Next skin is this one, which looks like it's like a gray color with a lot of black on there as well. That's basically, is there any like patterns for it as well? Oh, there is. It just these stripes along its tail and stuff. It's a little bit something different. And nothing too more differences between the patterns, but yeah. It will cost you 1,500 marks. Next skin. Ooh, this is a beautiful one. I actually like this one. Uh, it has a little bit of like a brown in there with a white and black in there as well. And Pass is just backing up with its pattern stuff. It will cost you 7,500 marks. Hmm, okay. Not that bad, not that bad, not that bad. Next one is this one, which is a completely looks like black. With like a yellow with a little bit of white there like these like like little eyes or something like that i have a mordor <laughs> uh but yeah something like that along its body with a little bit of like a red too like it's like fire like it's like everywhere's dark except these little like eyeballs sort of stuff and then has like this fire uh, effect underneath it's like bottom part of its body and stuff that is pretty cool i do that even it has a little bit on its jiggle uh, neck muscles there, as you want to say. This will cost you 10,000 marks. Holy crap. Yeah, that's expensive. Next one is the albino one. And like I've been saying in these videos, albino is pretty hard to get hold of. But it looks like you could sort of see like a little bit of like a light tan color in that as well. So, very rare. 10,000 marks, just like this one. But yeah, <laughs> and then the next one that we have is a completely black one, which I don't see. No, uh, there looks like there might somewhat be a pattern underneath the black, but it's very hard to see. Uh, but it will cost you 10,000 marks for this one to get, just like the white one and the other one we've seen. I always like the white and the black ones, and I mean, I do like this one. But the white and black on each dinosaur just really sticks out and really tells you that that person's been playing the game for a very long time. Uh, unless you're playing on a server with these guys and, you know, near marks that are pushed up to be double the marks what you normally get on official servers. So, yeah, definitely big idea there. Then we have this, which is again very expensive. But it looks like it's a little bit of like white with a little bit of like a gray color in there as well and also maybe a little bit of black it will cost you 10,000 marks to get this one so again very expensive but doesn't look as good as this or as unique as these two but it's still an option and if you do like it you can go ahead and put on your dinosaur as long as you have enough marks to get this uh, skin uh this skin is that just part of the pattern or is that just the game bugging out I don't know. But it looks like this one has a little bit of white with a little bit of black and gray in there as well involved. I don't know what's this like glowiness on its side here. It's both on left and right as well. Um, I can't tell what that is. I just can't tell. Uh, but wherever it is, it uh, hopefully it doesn't make you... Also, it's not just on its body. It's on its uh, body as well. It's also near its nose and its eyes. Oh, it might just be the the uh, skin being sparkly. Uh, it will cost you 1,500 marks. Um, pretty unique skin though. It does look pretty cool. Just, uh, is that really something that would be on the dinosaur? I don't know. Uh, next would be this skin with a little bit, well, a good bit of black. With a little bit of light gray and maybe even brown in there as well. Um, this will cost you 7,500 marks. Ow. I'm sorry for that, guys. I just hit my elbow off my desk. Ow. Uh, yep. I just hit the funny bone. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, don't worry. It's nothing too major. Um, but, yeah, this skin is pretty nice as well. 
probably not as cool looking as this one or maybe this one but it's cheaper by sort of a little bit cheaper um 3000 marks cheaper next one we have huh wait um albino no yes huh i'm not sure what's the purpose of this skin for when we already have the albino skin right here I mean, this is completely white, so, like, I have no clue what's the sense of this one. Honestly, it has, like, actual patterns you can see. Oh, um, yeah, okay. It looks like it definitely has somewhat, like, a pattern. If you go for this one, it does have a little bit of yellow in there, but this is just completely white. Um, this white, the albino one. So, yeah. But it costs us less to get it, so I guess that's the good side about it. So, if you want to be albino before you even get 10,000 marks. Uh, this will only cost you 4,500 marks. It's almost halfway 10,000, but a little bit cheaper, way cheaper than 10,000. So, yeah. And then we have this one. Looks like it's with the black, maybe a little bit of blue in there as well. If you could see what they're on its back of its neck muscle, you can see a little bit of a bluish color in there. Even though it's, oh, what there's some blue on its head. Um, also with like a orangish uh, cutter on its body as well with these little bit of like stripes on it as well. Uh, it will cost you 7,500 marks to get the skin. Uh, is there any actually different patterns about this different skin? Mm, not much, not really, no. Next one. Oh, we're wearing on that. Never mind. <laughs> There's this one, uh, which looks like it has like a, like a, gray color on its forehead always went to its uh beak and then like a light brown color with a black dot big dots on its body on its back and stuff and even the sides as well it looks pretty good uh it will cost you 7500 marks next one is this big well this color not big boy uh, this is the big boy uh it has a lot of black a lot of like brown on there and it looks like like almost like a flaming color uh flaming style pattern near its legs and stuff oh huh. that's pretty cool i mean it's like a light like a dark brown near its feet it looks like maybe and while its body is like a light uh brown very light brown uh this will cost you ten thousand marks to get very expensive uh, just like these two and this one and even this one, which I really don't see the goodness of that one, but uh, or this one. And last but not least is this one, which looks like it has a lot of black in there with a little white as well. Black and white, yeah. Uh, also a little bit of light gray as well in there as well um, with it. So you got multiple different colors in there, which will cost you 7,500 marks. And I just want to see different patterns there. And the only one I really like is this one, the standard, well, stock version one. So, yeah, that is a nice looking color for this big beastie boy. Now, let's go on to the abilities or the attacks. It does have, first of all, it has a standard bite, uh, deals medium damage. Then it has these two over here, heavy kraken, uh, deals 15% more damage on all attacks, but takes 10 percent more damage so you're taking 10 percent more damage but you're doing 10 percent more damage fit not 10 15 percent more damage you're doing okay then you have bones dense bones uh increases the bone break region by 35 percent and allows input entrances to swim slightly better but decreases spring sprinting speed uh, by 10 percent yeah sorry for that guys <laughs> uh so what i'm taking this as like it allows you to swim a little bit faster but your sprinting speed will become slower 10 percent slower oh then you have stomp do a double stomp that deals very high damage okay then you have hyper hobo, hobo war uh, able to eat 
berries and fruits and moderate food drain. Then you have Pertecron, uh, able to eat berries, flowers, fish, shellfish, nuts, and roots food, fast food drain. And then you have Glotion, uh, gro Gorge on berries, flowers, fruit, increases nuts and roots. Uh, you eat more per bite again, gain 10% more defense th thanks to your wide growth, growth but loses 5% speed and 20% stamina amount, extremely fast food drain with low food intake. I guess that would be kind of good, um, so that you can get more food in your belly. Then you have Mighty Hide, uh, increases trot speed by 25% allowing and the tentus turn better while trolling and able to eat eat and drink more by 20% at the cost of 5% less armor and 5% less damage or all attacks okay increases bleed and venom healing by 30% so that means you're getting my 30% increased healing and stuff and then you have a right kick, a mighty right kick that deals high damage and huge knockback. A mighty, which is the left one, a mighty left kick that deals high damage and huge knockback. So you have right and left kick. And then you have deep breath. Uses intenses huge lungs to full, full effects allowing it to have far more oxygen in order to help it cross large bodies of water better even if if out of stamina hmm, okay so you're wait, better even if out of stamina so you're even if you're out of stamina apparently this is actually works so if you're in that situation that you need to cross water and you run out of stamina this is going to help you believe just a little bit more longer underneath the water again very good you got a tail attack, uh, deals knockback, then the voice, and uh, shake the earth with your war buffing you and other Ambadondosauruses with 10% more damage and 25% health recovery rates. So you're making your home teammates recover more health and stuff. But let's uh, look at... Oh boy. Let's make it clear, rather. There we go, and let's make it back being sunny again. Alright, there we go. Um, let's show you guys the main abilities and stuff. So, let's we'll first off start with... There we go, bite, that's just normal bite. And this... Okay, that's the ward that gives you health along with your teammates and then the right kick. And there's a little bit of cooldown and left kick. Again, and then we have the stomp. Mm. Tear attack. Okay, uh, let's see, hang on, let's see, I think there's a little bit more attacks. That's not attack, so that is... No, that's that's it. That's all the attacks. As far as I'm believing to be. So what's left now, guys, to do is these. So tank, be quiet. Leave the viewers here what those big giant bees can do. Let's do it, guys. Okay. This boy is a loud boy too, along with also being very big, it is very loud. I don't know what shake, okay.
it actually turns its whole body. Look at that, it even walks. That's pretty cool, that is, that is pretty cool. I, I like those emotes because I've said this in the past and that they could be very effective if they have like a passive kind of like trait where you could spot a dinosaur and stuff, but let's see what this one does. That's called friends. Oh, it looks like it's uh, grazing the ground a little bit. Oh, that's pretty cool. It looks like you're actually eating something. Oh. Okay. And then, of course, this is... Yeah, call friends. And then, that's it. I, I really like these ones right here because they always have this, like, cool, like, way of, like, that. Like, I said... I've said in previous videos that these would be cool to have like a passive kind of like trait where you like you use it and a dinosaur could be way over there in those woods or something like that and maybe you could see it from this far for a certain amount of time like they could be highlighted for a certain amount of time to like your whole like I don't know what you want to call it a party of uh, friends and stuff could see them as well and that way you don't all know if there's a carnivore over there, uh, something friendly or not friendly. That would be a cool thing to have. And I mean, this right here as well. It's cool too. It's like it's grazing the ground a little bit. While it's eat, trying to eat the ground for any ferns it finds on there as well or something. That's pretty cool. I do like that, you know. Altogether, I do think this is a nice dinosaur to have. Um, even if you mess around in single player, or if you mess around playing on a server, this is still a pretty cool dinosaur to have. Um, it is slow, but it also has very fast stamina drain, so do keep that in mind. So you're not going to be getting anywhere very fast, but at the same time, it's really cool because it's a different dinosaur than you would expect, I guess you could say. Um, what I'm trying to say. Um... I just like it. it. I like anything that has a dinosaur involved, but this thing is very cool. I uh, I would recommend it. I mean, I would recommend all the mods I have done up to now um, for you, anybody that would want to have mods on Path of Titans. Uh, like I said, if either if you want to mess around on a single player world or you're playing on a server, these would be good mods to have on a server as well. But no, guys, I do think that's going to be the end of this video. Um, you know, this big thing, I do enjoy it. And like I said, just don't go into tight spots because you're going to get stuck and then you're going to fall and die. Very painful death. <laughs> so whatever you do, don't do that. But that's going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you guys did, please leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you guys want to. And like always, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye for now.